Burkitt lymphoma um, is a rare, um, um, highly aggressive lymphoma, perhaps the, the highest grade of the mature B-cell lymphomas. And um, traditionally, uh, it has been studied in smaller studies in, in phase two trials. There are very few phase three trials specifically uh, focused on Burkitt lymphoma, which makes it difficult to compare the risk across uh, studies. Uh, most patients with Burkitt lymphoma, unlike diffuse large B-cell, present with highly advanced disease, stage three or usually four, uh, with invasion of multiple organs, um, very high LDH levels. So the traditional IPI, International Prognostic Index, is not very useful in stratifying patients' prognosis. Um, and the treatments are often quite universal, except for a very, very narrowly defined low risk group of patients who have localized disease. Uh, so we used um, a retrospective cohort of uh, 633 patients uh, treated for Burkitt lymphoma over the past decade in the United States and constructed a novel uh, Burkitt lymphoma specific international prognostic index or BLIPI. Uh, which um, upon analysis turned out to have uh, contained four variables with the highest prognostic value in Burkitt lymphoma. And this includes age at, of 40 or over, LDH over three times upper limit of normal, uh, presence of uh, poor performance status, ECOG scale two to four, uh, and presence of CNS invasion. And patients can be grouped into a low risk group with no risk factors and a long term progression free survival of over 90%, intermediate risk group with one risk factor and progression free survival of about 72%, and the high risk group, which contains unfortunately half of patients with Burkitt lymphoma with two or more prognostic factors uh, who have only 55 to 63% um, progression free survival at three years. And I'm giving a range here because. Um, we use this index to validate it externally in a second cohort of patients who are treated in other countries, in Australia, Canada, uh, UK, and Scandinavia. This was about uh, 457 patients uh, who also received uh, active treatment for Burkitt lymphoma. And this index performed quite well or, or quite similarly to uh, in this cohort with groups of low intermediate and risk of quite similar size and outcomes which are curiously somewhat higher than in the United States uh, by about 5 to 10% in each group. But still, the low-risk group had a long-term survival of over 90%, and the high-risk group uh, had a long-term progression-free survival of about 63%. So uh, this new index can help stratify patients into three groups uh, with the hope that the low-risk group uh, could potentially be targeted with new clinical trials that would de-escalate the intensity of their treatment. Uh, while on the other hand, the high risk group, the truly high risk group with um, long, long term survival of barely 50, 60% is uh, probably in need of novel treatment approaches. Current therapy for Burkitt's lymphoma is in a way maximized in terms of its uh, cytotoxic intensity. So we think that this is the group uh, who could potentially benefit from introduction of novel agents uh, to improve these outcomes.